Hi guys, let's look at pigeon pose, a very important pose uh, that I haven't recorded a tutorial on yet, so it's about time. So of course, this is the prequel. If you have been doing this one, uh, the, the triangle stretch to the wall, it stretches the same muscle, but here it's just the foot helping us. We're not really getting a, a lot of help from gravity here. So if you don't feel there anything there anymore, for sure, try out pigeon pose. Start in plank and hug your knee forward. And instead of just sitting down here, I want you to use the plank and rock backwards and forwards a few times. So you're taking weight off of the knee and off of the leg and kind of pushing the hands down and leaning back into your back foot. So even if, you're, if you feel like you're up here, instead of trying to go down here and be in front of your leg, a mistake I see a lot of people doing, I want you to lean back as far as you can go and then sit down on your side if you can't go. For me, it's no problem to go down here, but if you're inflexible, then I want you to sit down on your butt and then lay down on your thigh like this. And don't lift your back knee up, try to keep walking it back and in towards the midline because pigeon pose is not only good for the outside of the hips, it's good for the front of the hips as well. So if you're, if you're somewhere here, perfect, then it's, it's almost like a, like a split. It's just that instead of working the hamstrings, we stretch the outside of our hips. But the back leg is just like in a split. So you can lay down on your side like this, uh, relax your head. I like to put my forehead on my wrist here and relax. And this is a pose you can stay in for between two and eight minutes, no problem. And what's nice about this one is that gravity is actually pushing us into the stretch. So the more we'll relax, the more the stretch will, uh, the more effective the stretch will get. So again, second side, start in plank, rock backwards and forwards a few times, and then find the sweet spot and stay there, or if it's too much, sit down on the side and try to close the gap between your thigh and your upper body and stay there and stretch. And don't let your back knee come up, keep working your back knee back, get down as low as you can, and if this is not enough, then you come up with a straight, you, you stay with, a, with your upper body in the plank uh, orientation. So you're not leaning sideways, you're staying on top. Your foot can't really be under your, your scrotum here. Your foot has to be under the hip or further. Otherwise, it's not going to stretch. If you have a meniscus injury, I would just stay completely on the side so the foot can be off the ground so there is no pressure into the knee here. And if you don't have a meniscus injury, you might go deeper into the stretch and keep moving backwards all the time. All right, that's my two cents on the pigeon pose, a very, very nice hip stretch before and after Jiu Jitsu. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. Us. Do you love Jiu Jitsu and want to roll for the rest of your life? Yoga makes that possible. I know what it feels like to train hard and be stiff. Yoga is the best tool I have found to feel better and avoid injuries. After a few sessions, you will notice improved flexibility, increased range of motion, faster recovery time, and a general increase in agility and body awareness. The bottom line is that yoga will not only make you better at Jiu Jitsu, but it will help you roll and enjoy the sport forever. Sign up now and jump straight into the library of content. Welcome to Yoga for BJJ.